Windcraft currently has eight different tiers of items. Normal, Unique, Rare, Set, Legendary, Fabled, Mythic, and Crafted. While they may not individually be very powerful, set items feature a unique mechanic where if you wear two or more pieces of the set, you gain extra bonuses on top of what the gear would normally provide. These bonuses are unique to each different set and increase relative to the number of pieces you are wearing. In this series, I will be showcasing and analyzing every armor set in Windcraft. This is Set Spotlight. Hello everybody and welcome to episode 16 of Set Spotlight. In this week's episode, we'll be looking at the Outlaw set. I meant to make this episode last week, but I didn't have an opportunity to do so, so it's a week late. I hope you'll forgive me for the delay. The Outlaw set can be obtained as a drop from enemies in the Mesa. Most of the enemies found in the Mesa should be able to drop the set, but I did not have the ability to kill enough of them all to verify which can or cannot drop it before making this video. The Outlaw Boots require level 36 and 30 agility to wear and give plus 325 health, minus 20 earth defense, plus 7 agility, between plus 9 and plus 38 lifesteal, and between plus 2% and plus 7% stealing. The Outlaw Pants require level 37 and 35 agility to wear and give plus 345 health, minus 20 thunder defense, between plus 2% and plus 10% main attack damage, between plus 9 and plus 38 life steal, and between plus 1% and plus 5% stealing. The Outlaw Tunic requires level 38 and 35 agility to wear and gives plus 380 health, minus 20 water defense, between plus 9 and plus 38 life steal, between plus 2% and plus 10% air damage, and between plus 1% and plus 5% stealing. The Outlaw Cap requires level 39 and 30 agility to wear and gives plus 370 health, Minus 30 fire defense, between plus 12 and plus 51 main attack neutral damage, between plus 9 and plus 40 life steal, and between plus 2% and plus 7% stealing. If two pieces of this set are worn, a set bonus of plus 4 agility, plus 11 life steal, plus 2% stealing, and plus 5% XP bonus is applied. If three pieces of the set are worn, a set bonus of plus 8 agility, plus 22 life steal, plus 4% stealing, and plus 10% XP bonus is applied. And if all four pieces of the set are worn, a set bonus of plus 28 agility, plus 45 life steal, plus 8% stealing, and plus 25% XP bonus is applied. This set is clearly designed to go hand in hand with the bandit set of accessories, as both of them provide a lot of stealing at this stage in the game and are more focused on the theme instead of viability. This set thematically has you stealing emeralds and health from enemies whilst hitting them hard and not getting hit yourself, which is once again perfect thematically. This set sacrifices elemental defenses to provide a very awkward focus on an agility slash air damage build that has an increase to raw damage and lifesteal. It isn't bad by any means, it just seems to want to do a few too many different things for a set focused entirely on agility. If you want a set to allow you to steal more emeralds and also health from the enemies to go along with your bandit set, go ahead and pick this one up. Otherwise, at this stage in the game, you might want to consider something a little more focused or a little more well-rounded. This set falls in the middle in a place that I personally don't feel is quite good enough. 